So, picture this scenario for me. You're on a gig. COVID-19 is over. You're finally back with all of your homies, playing music, getting paid. Everything is going great. People are dancing, booties are moving, the whole band is grooving. You and your piano player acknowledge each other. Maybe even after the show, you'll give each other a kiss. You've missed each other very much. Even your other friend, the cool piano player, sits in and plays a couple notes for you. Everything is going so good at this point. So good that even your piano player notices a cute girl in the audience. He tries to get the band's attention to acknowledge this beautiful creature. But you, being the drummer that you are, you're so used to always being in the back, not getting attention from anyone. But not tonight. You think to yourself, man, I'm about to play the sickest chop ever, and this girl, she's gonna fall in love with me. My girl, now. Don't actually say that. So what do you do? Now, you've disrupted everybody on the bandstand and everybody on the dance floor, and you're probably gonna get fired. Well, lucky for you, my friends, I'm gonna teach you that lick so you can get fired too. Let's go. Welcome back to my dungeon. So the thing about this lick, it's actually quite simple. There's only one rudiment in this little chop. It's a one bar chop, meaning it only lasts for four beats and a four four measure. I will put the exact sticking on the screen here or wherever, wherever I'm gonna put it. All you have to know is your paradiddles and your singles. And who doesn't know their singles by now? If you don't, then you probably should grow up. The singles are gonna be split between the hands and the feet. But as for the paradiddles, which is gonna be the first part of the lick, you're gonna be playing two paradiddles, alternating, right hand first, left hand. I'm gonna start really slow on the snare drum only. Surprisingly, the hardest part about this lick is the very first part when you're just playing the paradiddles. And you're not playing the traditional standard paradiddle the second time around. For example, this is how you would normally play paradiddles. But for the second paradiddle, we're gonna put that accent on the second note. Paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. But you will also be playing the bass drum on that ra diddle, ra diddle, ra diddle. So I'm gonna play the hardest part of this lick only on the snare drum and the kick drum. Once you got this part, everything will be so simple. You ready? Here we go. All right, now, another part that might confuse you is where we're playing the hi-hat. Because that second paradiddle, the left hand's gonna start on the hi-hat. Now after that, it's just smooth selling. I'll put the rest of the sticking on the screen. I'm just gonna play that on the snare drum so you can hear how simple that really is. It just looks cool because I'm doing all this. So here's what it sounds like on just the snare drum and the bass drum. All right, so while I was editing the video just now, I realized I didn't actually play that on the snare drum, so I'm gonna do it right now with the iPhone quality. I'm sorry. If you don't like it, you can suck my- Please put that in. <laughs> You see the pattern on the screen, right? Play it slow. Practice this slow at first. I'm not talking necessarily just for this thick lick. When you're learning anything new, practice slow. Because if you can't play it slow, then you can't play it fast. And playing fast is just playing slow faster. Knowledge. Once you have the lick itself learned, go ahead and start trying to apply it to different groups, right? You don't have to play it exactly like that either. You can orchestrate it however however you want. You can do something like this. Or you
or something like this. Or maybe even this. Or if you want to get really stupid, get it up to like very high speeds. But please remember, practice it as slow as possible. Okay, I'm talking about. <laughs>